Hi, everyone. G'day. Welcome to our new episode. We are coming to you from the beautiful Skipworth Reserve in Jamison in Victoria. Right on the Jamison River. And it is magnificent. We love this place. We've been coming here for years. But this weekend, it's going to be even better. We've got two families coming up. You might remember them from our Rubicon episode. Yep. And um, on Saturday, we're going to do a nice big drive. Big drive up to the high country, go see some huts. That's going to be exciting. I can't wait. We're probably going to do a couple of different episodes for you guys this time. One will be just on the big drives that we're going to be doing to check out some of the huts. Um, and the other one will be of, of us actually camping and what we're doing around the campsite. Um, this trip we've only got Nat, there she is, and one dog, just Winston. We are trying to train Winston a little bit around other dogs when we're at campsites because he is a bit of a barker so of a dog. It's a little bit hard doing it with Dozer around. So this week Dozer's at home with Jared and yep. um, we're here at a, this river. It's cold, it's freezing. Guess who's going to jump in at this time? Lee. Go no on. one else. Always me. It's always Lee. This is, the water's absolutely crystal clear. You can actually swim across to that tree in the water. And it's every now and then there's these lovely rapids, which in the past the kids absolutely loved going down on their bodyboards and little inflatables as well. So if you've never been to this neck of the woods, there's a few free campsites. And it's a free campsite. We're not paying this not weekend. Paying a cent. Not paying a cent this weekend. Um, but yeah, we hope you enjoy the videos we have for you. Cheers. You're always drinking. <laughs> That's what I do. First morning here it is a bit chilly um, you can see the little mist sort of coming off the water as well our friend over here is having a little fish he is keen on catching a trout so let's see what happens but it's a beautiful morning I think it's gonna be a wonderful day today um, I've got someone over here attached to my leg and um, let's see if we catch a fish today. Here we are, Jamison, first morning. A bit hungry, I've been up since five, got the fire going. Really cold this morning. So, we're hungry, we're gonna eat a chorizo omelette. So we've got all the ingredients here, and we're gonna have them on bagels. 
the old trusty cast iron again is getting the go. We're gonna dice it up, get it all going, and um, we'll show you what we do while we're cooking. So have a good look at these trees. How beautiful they look, nice and gold. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my onion and capskin in there first. Let it just uh, saute a little bit in those juices. Then we'll hit with the tomato and then the egg mixture. And with our omelette, we do something a little bit different. Um, come with me, I'll show you. So you can put salt and pepper in and all that, but we like curry powder in ours and um, some coriander. It makes it a bit fresh and something different and beautiful. breakfast time still we haven't eaten yet and as you can see there's nothing on the fire I'll let you in a little secret some of you might know just by seeing how thick that omelette's gonna be or is we're never gonna cook it on the fire it would have just burned all underneath and wouldn't have been cooked inside so this is how we did cook it in the trusty Weber in on a trivet have a look at that. It looks beautiful. Can't wait to dig in. Mm mm mm. With a little. Perfect. So, that's my omelette. That's a, Lee's hot tip. <laughs> hot tip for the day. Don't cook a freaking omelette that thick <laughs> on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> So, I was worried about it getting stuck to my skillet. So, let's get, do something different just to try it out. Ready? <laughs> oh, hey, look taxi. at that. <laughs> I reckon we should be able to do an upside down cake in that skillet. I think so. What do you think came out awesome? <laughs> we'll do the reverse. Look wow. at that. How cool is that? That's going to be our breakfast, people. Let's cut it up and see how it goes. Now this is going to go into my cookbook. King's Recipes for Camping. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> you, mate, you know. <laughs> having a whiskey, he's having a couple of seeds. <laughs> hey, scared. calm down. Too many seeds. <laughs> You're gonna get legless. 
Uh, come on, Cheda, let's keep playing. I for the God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's that time of the video <laughs> where I jump in frigid cold water. I'm gonna make a promise to you. Every time I go camping, I wanna jump in water. <laughs> no matter what temperature it is, and it's coming up to some cold weather. And this is freezing. This comes straight off the hills where the snow is. And they had snow here late December, late January, so it's gonna be really cold. Here we go. I'll do this manly this time. <laughs> manly with a squeal. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's well, cold. You opted for no coffee and cold water, so. <laughs> Good, it's not bad. Not bad. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> My voice is a little bit, a little bit higher. But it's okay. Oh, you're silly. <sighs> hey, Vinny Poos. Where is he? Is he silly? For dinner tonight, we're going to keep things pretty simple. We're just going to have some wraps after a big day of driving. Um, Lee, if you want to head down here, we can actually show you what you're doing. So we're doing, it's called pepper chicken. You can actually do this with prawns as well. It is my mum's recipe that she's given us. We just need some diced onion, which is going to go in the oil. Once that onion is cooked through and nice and translucent, we've put in the chicken. Before we actually, before we put in the chicken, we'll put in about a teaspoon and a half, or I would go probably for a tablespoon of uh, ginger. The same with um, garlic. You need now in here. I sort of put this together at home before we came out. Um, it's about a teaspoon of coriander powder, a teaspoon of cumin powder, and two teaspoons, two teaspoons of pepper powder. And the pepper is what's going to give it a bit of a Bit of a bit of a kick, a bit of heat. So you can put as much pepper as you want, but I found no more than two two teaspoons. Other than that's going to end up in the toilet the next day. Sure. Um, and then just to give it a little bit of colour, we're just going to put in about a tablespoon of um, dark soy. Um, chicken goes in. Then mix it all together. Once it's cooked through, put it in a wrap. It's as simple as that. Just a nice simple dinner for tonight. Chicken is done. As you can see, it is nice and thickish. Um, we're just going to use a bit of um, naan bread or bread. Um, and today, Lee wants a bit of tzatziki with it. I so, do. I do. So we're just we're just going to whack it on there. Awesome lighting work for me. <laughs> it is pretty dark, so Lee is cool. Being lighter. Oh, I don't have a spoon, Lee. How much do you want? Let's <laughs> pour it on there. Pour it? We like garlic. <laughs> yep. Beautiful. Right. Yeah. This is my wrapping skills. Look at that. You can get a job at friggin' <laughs> Subway or anywhere. There you go. And that, right. my friend, is our pepper chicken. Wraps. There you go, taste test it. Why not? It's hot. It is hot. 
It's super easy to turn, so. Winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. today just coming to do a little shopping in the morning we might be buying something for Winston a little surprise <laughs> but it's been a naughty boy barking it's too excited so I'm barking at everything at the moment a lot of training to go to do with the stock <laughs> We came into Mansfield on Sunday specifically to check out this shop because they sell dry as a bone for dogs but unfortunately the website says they're open today being Sunday but no they're shut so sorry Winston no dry as a bone for you <sighs> cannot pass out on a switcher. Ta da! <laughs> Ooh, I've got neon lights in here, so it's all flashy. Oh, Easter bunnies are out. <laughs>
of one of our video over here. Now, we did get up to a lot of stuff, so we're going to break it up into a three-part series. Yep. Um, so part one is what you just watched. Part two next week, we'll continue our lovely stay at Jamison. And part three, the following week, will be our long off-road drive that we did to check out... Um, what was the name of that? Craig's Hut. Craig's Hut. And this is action-packed. And what a place. So... We hope you enjoy all three videos and don't forget if you like this video hit that thumbs up button on your way out and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification button so you, don't, so you don't miss out on our videos as well you don't miss it <laughs> all right until next week guys cheers cheers